So real quick, I just wanted to show you a grade transfer tool I've made. Um, it's an Excel file with um, some VBA code. And when you open it, you see this. There's some instructions where you can add it to the, um, the banner at the top here where you can have a button. So I, I actually am going to hit this button on this file. But if you're just testing it out, you can also just hit the Start button. So the idea is that you have a window, probably web browser based. Um, for example, I use Infinite Campus. So I'm going to click on the cell that I want to enter grades starting in. And then here is a spreadsheet of grades that I want to transfer. Now what this is going to do is it's going to very blindly just type whatever is in this spreadsheet into the next cell to the next cell to the next cell. So if you do this, you have to be very careful to make sure that your list of names on your web browser, your gradebook, Infinite Campus, match um, the order that it's supposed to be. So you can hit this button or you can hit um, this button here, which these instructions show you how to add that. Since this is the first time for somebody, I'm just going to hit this button. So I click this button, start transfer, and um, this window comes up. Um, and you have to set the source. So what that means is go to the spreadsheet that you want to get grades from. So in that case, this is this spreadsheet. I'm going to click on the first cell with a grade on it. And I'm going to click Reset Source. Now, you have the ability to change what happens. So after each grade gets typed, so this is going to type 28 and then down 27 and then down 28. If your system uses Enter or some other set of keystrokes, you can, you can change that here with these these drop downs, but I'm just going to leave it down. Also, this delay is how many um, seconds you want to wait between hitting down. If you go too fast, sometimes um, it will miss a grade, um, so just be aware of that. If your window on your browser is not called Infinite Campus, so it's off screen here, but the name of my window is Infinite Campus, just change it to whatever that window is in uh, your browser. I'm using Chrome. I believe it works on Firefox. I haven't tested all the browsers. But it goes very quickly. So again, I'm going to click here, reset source. I'm going to click on the Infinite Campus window where I want the grades to start. And then I'm just going to hit Transfer Grades to Active Spreadsheet. It's going to say, are you sure? You'll say yes. I have it waiting five seconds. And then it's just going to type them like that. And you can decrease this time and it'll, it'll go slower, but it's, it's literally that simple. So it makes it easy if um, you have a spreadsheet with a bunch of grades from some other source. It makes it super easy to put them into uh, another place. Um, if you are an Infinite Campus user, this is one advantage of having section groups because that means I can enter my grades to all of my sections at the same time, again, as long as the names, uh, the names match. So I will link the, um, the file here. Um, it is VBA based, so it does have VBA code. Uh, I should point out that if you want to see the VBA code, let me hit this, pull it up again. That's because I just opened it. Um, now it'll open. Uh, see, it's here. If you press Alt plus F11, it brings you to um, the code if you're if you're curious. And it does have vestiges of an import tool I made specifically for Microsoft Teams, but I think most people will just be transferring from, uh, from the spreadsheet. And when you close that, it closes the file. So hopefully that is uh, useful.